Well, I think the best way for Christians to understand it is to ask ourselves the question, why did the Christian church, the followers of Jesus, from the very beginning, opt for, come down on the side of, defend the belief, which became the doctrine, of the resurrection of the body? Wouldn't it have been easier? Wouldn't it have been a much easier sale to the pagan world? Not to claim that Jesus physically rose from the dead and that we would someday physically rise, but rather to say that resurrection is a spiritual event. The soul survives. The soul goes to heaven, liberated from the body and all the disadvantages of our bodily finitude. Uh, and you wouldn't then be subject to empirical falsification. <laughs> what if they discover the bones of Jesus? Uh, and you could make sense of the idea of, uh, of uh, life after death without imagining that it would involve the resurrection of the body. And who needs the body anyway? You know, the body gets sick, the body gets dirty, the body gets smelly. We have bodily functions that we're, that we're not thrilled about. Uh, we have to eat to maintain life. What's the big deal with the body? Why does Christianity opt for it? Why not just say, we believe in spiritual survival? Well, the fact is the church did go for the idea of the spiritual. Uh, not sorry. The fact is that the church did go for the idea of the resurrection of the body. Its roots, of course, are in Judaism. There was a division within Judaism. In the Gospels, we learn about the division between the Pharisees who, uh, who believe in the resurrection of the body and the Sadducees who, who do not. At one point, the Sadducees test Jesus on the, on the question by asking about uh, a woman whose multiple husbands die and, and, and which one is she married to in the end if there's a, uh, if there's a resurrection. Um, but the Christianity comes down on the side of the resurrection of the body, and that's because we believe that the body is not simply a vessel or a vehicle in which the spiritual soul resides. It's not uh, uh, an instrument of the human being. We are not non-bodily persons, souls, spirits, who reside in non-personal bodies. On the contrary, we believe that the body is part of the personal reality of the human being and that we are dynamic body, soul, body, spirit uh, unities. And that when we die, the body dies, the soul survives, and yet we are not whole. We are not fully ourselves. In fact, Aquinas went so far as to, to, to hypothesize that when the body is dead, but before the resurrection on the last day, our souls exist, but we don't exist. We are our bodies and souls together. And while there's just a soul, what exists are spiritual remains, just as bodily remains exist. And we don't really exist again as a living person until body and soul are reunited.